Okay, Shalom, Akimo, praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Makak, Kodash, Double Honesty, the Apostles, Elders, Great Millstones, Silver, Two, Sensei, Akim, out there of the Hopeful Elect. All right, and um, you know, I'm just wanna, I want to bring something out on adultery, okay, because the Apostle Tahar did a video on his channel, GMS, declaring the end, uh, entitled, But Whoso Committeth Adultery with a Woman Lacketh Understanding. All right, and um, and I, I wanted to look up. Here in the United States, are there any laws on adultery in the United States of America, you know, which is Babylon the Great, all right? So, um, you know, I, I, Googled, I Googled it. I did Google it, all right? Okay, you, you can uh, look that information up for yourselves as well. And I'm going to read some of it, some of the results, all right? It says, uh, the United States is one... A few industrialized countries to have laws criminalizing adultery. Okay, so it says that the United States do have laws criminalizing adultery. Okay, but the penalty for the act of adultery is it consistent with what the law says in the Holy Bible? That's the question. That's the main question you should be um concerned with because America claims to be a God fearing country. It claims to be a, a Christian based society all right and um and you know when you check it out when you when you check when you check out these um these laws that criminalize adultery here in the united states it doesn't coincide with the laws found in the holy bible that tells you that what the penalty of adultery is supposed to be all right i'm gonna read a little bit more it says in the united states laws vary from state to state and see, that's why this place is Babylon. So in one state that has a, pen, a, a law criminalizing adultery, the, the next state might not have it. Okay? All right? Now, I didn't look it up every state to see which states had it and which states didn't have it. You know, that's something I might get on, get more into. All right? But I'm short for time right now. I got to get ready to go to work. Um, But, uh, but yeah, there's, there's, there's uh, certain states that do have laws on the books about adultery, but those laws are, are rarely enforced when you look into it. They're rarely enforced, and none of them, by the way, results to death, all right? It says, until the mid-20th century, most U.S. states, especially southern and northeastern states, had laws against fornication, adultery, or cohabitation, all right? And that's adultery laws in Wikipedia, okay? Some of the states in which states is adultery illegal uh, so it names a few states. It has Alabama, Arizona, Florida, Idaho, Illinois, Kansas, Michigan, Minnesota, and a couple of more that you know I would have to click on. Um, you know, click on this to see uh, which other states. All right. Now, for more results, you see right here. It says uh, for more results. All right. Uh, which is. What is the penalty for adultery in the U.S.? And this is what it says. Adultery re remains a Class B misdemeanor crime that carries with it the maximum penalty of up to three months imprisonment and a $500 fine. All right. So it's a Class B misdemeanor crime. All right. Misdemeanor means a, a crime is basically a, a low. Uh, it's like a low level crime wherein the offender who's found guilty can face up to uh, a year in a year in jail, no more than a year in jail. All right. So for adultery to be a class B misdemeanor crime, and it carries that carries with it the maximum penalty of up to three months imprisonment. And there's no way in the scriptures to tell you that you're supposed to uh, incarcerate somebody for for a, a, a certain amount of time. All right. There's laws that are punishable by death. There's laws that um that can be atoned. By sacrifices, okay, but there's no way in the scriptures where it tells you uh, throw a man in a dungeon for you know a certain amount of years or a certain amount of months, okay. It says in a five hundred dollar fine, prosecution for adultery could also attract unwanted attention from the media. Now, a person that's an adulterer is you supposed to put them on blast. Anybody that commits a uh, a, a, a crime or a transgression of God's laws, they're supposed to be put on blast, sent to the stockade and made mockery of before 
or when you know after the sentence is pronounced on them, man. Okay, all right. It says, uh, but it says prosecution for adultery could also attract unwanted attention from the media due to the rarity of the use of the statute to pr to private marital and extramarital relations. Okay, so it shows you how lenient, how lax these laws are concerning adultery. So this so this so called white man society here, America is a hypocritical society, man. And I'm gonna read the law on it in the Holy Bible. All right, this is the Book of Leviticus, chapter twenty, verse ten. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, okay, because that's what adultery is. All right, when a, when a man committed adultery with another man's wife, a, a woman, a wife is a man's property. So if you lay down with another man's property, his wife, then you've committed adultery, all right? You committed adultery with the woman, and the, and the woman is guilty of committing adultery as well because she's married to a man, but she's stepping outside of her marriage, okay, by laying down with another man. It says, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, wife and the, with, Salak, let me read that again. It says, in the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress, because it takes two to tango, right? So both of them, all right? This is the judgment that's supposed to happen, that's supposed to befall both of them. The adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death, okay? So they shall surely be put to death, all right? But in this society, everything is one-sided, and the law is real slack. Punishment of three months in prison with a $500 fine. That's not, that's we that's a that's a long stretch in comparison to what the most high um would punish an adulterer or an adulteress by. Okay, so showing you that America ain't shit, man. This society does not keep God's laws, it doesn't fear the most high whatsoever, man. And no, and that's no reason why uh committing adultery is is overlooked in this society, and no, people don't even recognize that they're committing adultery. It's heavily promoted. There's no consequences behind it, man. There's no consequences behind it. So the fear of the Most High is not in this country. It's not in this society. America, which is Babylon the Great. All right? And, hey, man, going back to, to what, it, what it initially said, that this is a state-by-state -state basis. And there's 50 states in the United States of America. Okay? So what could be lawful in one state might be unlawful in another state. Showing you that this place, Babylon, is the land of confusion, and the Lord said he is not the author of confusion. All right? So America's going to be destroyed, man. Plain and simple. I'm going to end it on that note. Say shalom wa barakim. Hopefully this, you were edified in this lesson. Shalom.